Hey, what's up ladies and gents? Behind us is the new Dutch Duster Journey. This is the uh, second facelift with the new logo uh, on the back. We're gonna take a tour of the exterior interior details. There's gonna be separated point of view driving during the day with no talking. And there's gonna be separated night point of view review where I'm gonna summon my impressions uh, on the road behind the wheels. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So here's the new Dacia Duster Journey package in new khaki green color. This is the sort of second facelift after the headlights change. They've added the uh, new brand logo. So looking nice. So let's check the new key for the new logo. So you have the lock unlock, unlock the cargo space and you can turn on the LED headlights there, you can see that. So this is keyless entry, so when you approach the car, it unlocks, and when you leave, it locks, and it gives you a sound confirmation that it's locked. So you can put your key in the pocket. Now, checking the journey package, we have some uh, you know, gray accents, side mirrors, roof racks, and on the bumpers. So let's come a little bit closer, check it out. So we have the cocky green color. It's a non-metallic. Now, I was mentioning second facelift because first they've changed the LED headlights design. They added this sort of like Volvo Thor hammer daytime running lights. And then this was silver. And then they've changed it because of the new logo. They added this black bumper, white logo. So they added white details inside to also emphasize the daytime running lights and added this black piece inside. You have a Dacia there. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, these are white LED, as you saw. These are halogen lights, same as fog lights. So these are just LED projectors. And then the daytime running lights switch to uh, turn signals. So let me just unlock the car for you. You saw that, but it automatically locked as well. You can see that. So the top part is the turn signal, and then you can see the daytime running lights there. Now, uh, moving to the front of the car, it looks nice and it's pretty popular budget SUV. So uh, once again, you can see the new logo and this package comes with 360 uh, parking system. So you have 360 cameras, wide angle, 180 degrees on the front, on the side mirrors and on the back of the car. Uh, huge thanks to Dacia Croatia for giving me this car uh, for a review first between the journalists and checking here you have the small air intake at the top and bigger one at the bottom and uh, ground clearance here is 21 centimeters so it gives you nice tall ground clearance also on the duster if you check the profile of the front it is kind of uh, going like that let me just try to show you with a key fob so let's say that the profile of the key fob is the same so it's not a uh, right angle it's just like curved so if the car is going like over the hill and then going top it's not going to hit the bottom because this is you know curved so that's a good thing and there if you're going you know light off-roading uh, on unasphalted roads now checking the alloys here we have a 17 inch alloys so these are 215 60 R17 uh, dimensions of tires. So we have 17 inch alloys with silver on black diamond cut, new Dacia logo. And on the front, you get real disc brakes. On the back, there are drum brakes. So we have uh, winter tires fitted on. Now we have parking sensors here. I didn't notice them on the front. I think they're hidden in the maybe plastic parts, but it's weird that they didn't use plastic here. Uh, they've used it at the bottom there, so this part is not protected, but it's still okay. You can see the turn signal there. Washer nozzles are on the bonnet, and when mentioning the bonnet, they've added this nice looking power domes on the front. And I like how the fact that this is kind of extending looks really nice in design. Light and rain sensor is on the top, and then we have here folding mirrors. There are uh, in this matte gray finish now when you approach the car with a key fob and unlocks you can see when it unfolds you have the uh, blind spot warning there and then you have the 360 camera there 
I wish they've switched the turn signals maybe here and then face it towards the driver as well, but maybe something for the future. This is plasticky and then again gray finish, though so this is aluminium or metal duster signature there and a little antenna there. If I back up, you can see the whole car has a nice profile. There you go, and locks when I leave, gives you the sound confirmation so you don't forget. Oh, did I like the car? You have to go back, but now you know with the sound, and you can see the drum brakes. Also, as I mentioned, nice protection at the bottom. If I approach the car, it should unlock. You can see here, driver side has a physical cylinder. This unfolds, and you can see tinted windows on the rear. Um, on the back, let me see the tire dimension. 215 60R17, same tire dimension. You can see the drum brakes, and you can see the new uh, taillights. So these are like LED. These are the stop lights on the top and the bottom. You have the turn signals, and I think this is just like all lights here projecting through the plexiglass. So they're not actually LED, but again, this is cheaper to replace the bulbs if they burn out. On the top, a little spoiler, but they decided to put the stoplight inside, not on this part. Interesting. And there's a little washer here for the rear wiper. Now, uh, checking the bottom, you have the exhaust pipe on the left you have the fog light and reverse light on the other side and they added the dacha signature now uh, duster is now a sticker and you have the four by four and over here we have white led license plates illumination back and camera there and over here you can open uh, from the inside the fuel cap so no one can steal your fuel so there we go. Now, um, let's unlock the car or unlock the cargo space. So I'm gonna back up so you can see the height. It doesn't open too tall, but it's fairly okay. I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. So let me just show you the height. So that is it. Now we get 411 liters of cargo space. When you knock down the seats, you get 1,444, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm mistaken, I'm gonna correct myself at the bottom here. And you can knock down the seats 60, 40. Now on the top, just to show you, you can here close manually. You have the top shelf, it's hooked here, but this doesn't open too tall, so it might be in the way, but still this is fairly tall opening. Have the rubber stoppers here, you can put something here, it's a nice big, space you could put an umbrella there there is a 12 outlet there and inside on the left you have warm light on both ends you have grocery hooks on the right side this is closed on the left it is nice and open you have two latch points there so also kind of suggesting this is a top to the point for the child seat and you have a nice flat entry which is cool but inside, you have this styrofoam. You can fit a fire extinguisher and you have a full-size spare tire, but they gave you the uh, entry dimension 215 65R16. So that is it, but you can maybe store some additional stuff in there. Now, there's nothing rattling in this car, surprisingly, since uh, it's a budget SUV, but this thing, now, this is supposed to be here, but it kind of, you know, creates some sounds. So, hmm, maybe they should work on that detail. Uh, the rest of the car was pretty good. Another look at this and close that up. Now, um, yeah, it is a little bit annoying because it confuses the system if you're coming back and forward, but it's okay. Now, Fairly good closing sound considering they didn't use a lot of uh, dampening seals. So you have an outside seal and then you have one seal here and a seal on the top. Now today it's, you can see the weather, it was really windy before, it can kind of calm down now. 
so my day point of view driving there's a lot of wind noise and also this is an SUV it's tall so very noisy on the highway now here you can switch this to lock for the kids from the inside hard plastic uh, big handles so a little bit spartan on the back you have the power windows and this is kind of narrow so you really can't fit a water bottle there and a speaker there which is nice you have this uh, protection here in plastic seats basic cloth seats nice white country stitching rigid textile there inside and there's your isofix points now over here you can put the seat belt buckle so it's not in the way if you want to knock down the seat here so let me just show you that so over here now you have to lower the headrest there and you can see the inside space and the top space so they should have cut this here because it's supposed to be like this and you can see the seat belt buckle kind of went there but you can again tuck it in or you could do this just put it like that so it's not in the way once you buckle that in there you go you can see that and as you saw headrest you can adjust that now let's sit inside so you get this rubber carpets here but there we go now I'm a two meter tall person I'm a taller person and you can see I was sitting in the front in that case it's gonna be very tight fit here and you're gonna be hitting with your knees the person in front if you're tall as well but uh, you'll have to manage like this now there are pockets here there's a good room for the feet at the bottom and there are two USB A's for fast charging here I wish they added AC vents on the back in the future transmission tunnel is a little bit taller the seats are nice and comfortable even in the middle no uh, back armrest and you can see nice and tall windows even on the seat pillar there is a big uh, window and good light coming inside good overview and you can also store some stuff here this is nice and big practical SUV also for a family or as a company car and this is fixated all for all three sides have uh, that besides the driver there and you have the uh, you know warm lights at the top uh, looking at the front I'm gonna get there in a moment just to show you the closing sound or yeah so to be honest it's fairly okay as well uh, considering there's not enough you know sound denting it's very shallow on the back because of the spartan plastic materials but it's fairly okay you have a, a fixated seat belt on the front uh, you can adjust here you can see that just press in you can adjust the headrest so these are kind of also volvo like headrests uh, same as the headlights they've kind of copied uh, that so uh, let's show you the headspace so headspace wide let me just put the headrest so if I uh, manage here it's actually a good headspace I am touching a little bit with my hair but uh, honestly it's not that bad you know uh, uh, head wise or headspace wise but uh, you can see here my knees but again uh, this is considering taller person is sitting on the front if there was an average person then you would have plenty of knee room if you were a taller person so we have to be objective and here you can see uh, Roman 5 there this means this is a factory tint just mentioning this if you're buying this car as a used car so let's get on the front and also forgot to mention but uh, the door is open fairly wide if you need to put a child seat inside maybe just small detail here maybe the door handles a little bit clunky they could have maybe just added some rubber here so it'd be you know okay now I'm not sure if you heard this but once you open there's this greeting sound but doesn't matter front doors open a bit wider over here you have a tire pressure information so you can spec 16 inch or 17 inch and so you can see there's no seals on the front doors only at the bottom there is a little here here and here on the top so on the front also you know hard plastic but they've padded this with leather and this 
but it's not soft it's just padded with leather it gives you a little bit more uh, for the driver but on the back you know it's uh, not that generous uh, this is nice and big very sturdy big speaker this is a little bit wider so you could maybe fit a water bottle there you can lock the rear windows all power windows fully automatic uh, you can fold here you can adjust the electronic mirrors and so on now uh, plastic protection here on the front and the back and here you can pop the fuel cap and to check the seats you have heated seats you press a button here turn it on uh, push this up to slide back and forward up and down there's a lumbar uh, on that end of the seat and you can push this up to tilt the seat uh, so again same cloth material very very comfy and nothing to add it's pretty good uh, you have this rubber carpets not sure if these are actually dacha this seems like some sort of third party if i'm not mistaken you can see the uh, battles there i'm gonna pop the front later you can adjust the headlight this is a fuse box not a storage area uh, parking sensors actually excuse me this is a blind spot uh, warning i guess and steering column is manual now let's sit inside so good closing sound and let's switch to the wide lens so you can see point of view is actually not too bad it's pretty solid now uh, we have a new sort of a new screen it's an old screen but it's good so um yeah you have a physical uh engages here with needles and a trip computer and we have the new dacha uh, signature there and four spoke steering wheel zooming back in now i'm going to be quick here i did cover this a few times so we have a nice leather and four spoke as i mentioned you have here speed limiter uh cruise control set the speed reset uh, lights keep them on automatic and your turn signals uh, wiper controls uh, back droplets and then up and down you have them on automatic again here's one switch for the blind spot uh, this is nice gray finish closed and open air vents there's another one blowing there there's a speaker in there this is all hard plastic but you know a budget car i wouldn't expect more but it's nicely designed there's this is rubberized so there is uh, that now we have the start stop there and screen here with the duster signature there are uh music controls here you can mute that you can choose sources modes and so on over here we have a downhill assist auto start stop off echo this kind of reduces your power so just kind of useless hazards lock on lock from the inside this is the parking sensors off and on uh, this is a cool feature you can always turn on the cameras they kind of turn on and show you preview turn off traction off and then you have this this is from you know uh clio so you have the ac controls you can control this when it's pressable front max below rear defrost ac on and off close air circulation there's a usb a for fast charging and one for media that's for your apple carplay pullable outlet is down there uh, rubber mats here you can put a key if the battery is low a little cup holder there so you have a little bit of everything and you have a six speed manual now the gears are a little bit longer no it's not bad uh, reverse go up in first gear but the thing I would advise you is to go for the automatic and for the stronger version with 150 horsepower 115 horsepower feels like a little bit underpowered and uh, the gears and this one are just too short so what i would usually use for first gear would be this so first and second and then what i would, what I would use for second gear would be third and fourth and then what i would use for fourth gear is fifth and then on the sixth it's on the highway but it was just a little bit confusing for me had to learn the car just they kind of shorten the gear i guess for better fuel consumption it's just takes a little bit adjustment there so it's 
Suffice to say that I've missed a few gears sometimes. Uh, here you have the two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, uh, and you can just keep it automatic there. And this is just my uh, USB cable to show you the um, later the Apple CarPlay. So don't forget. So let me just show you there. Yeah, you just plug it in. It's a little bit on the angle there. And uh, we have two cup holders here. So there's three of them, two over here, one over there. Uh, manual handbrake. This is kind of plasticky, but they've used some leather here. And once again, the front seats are very comfortable. There is no front isofix there, but I like this duster signature. Now, a uh, very uh, big glove compartment. It's very deep, as you can see inside. Uh, I think there's a little light when you turn on the car and it just kind of slams maybe just add a little bit cheap also spring dacha wouldn't hurt just to have a slow opening this is covered by leather it is semi soft uh, it doesn't actually extends I thought for a moment yeah it was a little bit stiff just to push it out but it extends that's a good thing and then you have here up and there's like a small narrow space towards down but you can put like a water bottle there so you know it ain't that bad so it's kind of gives you a little bit of distance to you just push it then it kind of moves so you just know uh, it does extend i thought for a moment it does didn't and over here this is where the physical key would go but in this car again start stop now before i turn it on just to show you the top is a good overview on the back and generally there's a good overview for the mirrors um, and on the front, and if you're a taller person, you can see the hood and the power bonnets, so it gives you a little bit of safety uh, feeling as well. Uh, this doesn't have auto dimming, so you have to use this. And there's uh, airbag, uh, front airbag information and passenger use seatbelt warning if you're not buckled. And uh, lights are here. There's a little like temperature sensor, and there's uh, speakers here for Bluetooth calls. You can put your documents here and. You have a little mirror there. Uh, I don't think this extends as far as memory serves me, so this is not covered. Most of the cars don't have this feature, but uh, it is what it is. And before we turn the infotainment on, headspace, plenty of headroom on the front. Now you can see my knees, so I have to, you know, uh, be a little bit more backwards. So there's a little tight space behind me since I'm tall. And you have to hold the brake and the clutch since this is a manual turn on everything you can see here blind sports turn on and you can see that dacha there so i'm just going to put it into neutral you can hear the diesel uh, engine started rain again uh, let's focus here so you have the speedo you saw the little uh, needle uh, check when you turn on it's pretty cool and over here you can see so it's a brand new car with 126 kilometers uh, you know it still hasn't passed the braking test so the average consumption is a bit high it should be 5.5 liters according to the WLTP you can see the current one here you can see the uh, range and you can see the distance covered so average speed and you can see the digital speed this is what I like to see or you can see the coolant temperature tire pressure and system there so yeah check here uh on the channel for the night point of view so i'll you know show you the uh, fuel consumption maybe there um you can see here fan speed you can see here air direction so you can see that and uh, you can press here on automatic and then you can control the temperature as well uh this comes red and then this goes amber yeah, um, this gives you an eco on the top. And if you turn uh, speed limiter, you can see that. And for the cruise control, like that. Care mass, you can press here, you can see the front, uh, you can see where the edge is, you can see your sides here. So, you know, the camera resolution is pretty blurry, but it's um, you know and the screen is not the highest resolution but still serves the purpose uh, so it's pretty good uh, it's 
can control here the brightness perhaps or the contrast so that definitely also helps uh, and it has the uh, lines when you move the steering column so it's pretty good I like that uh, the cameras go off automatically and uh, let's just uh, cover this uh, so you have here volume settings so you can use that one um, this is the home screen you can turn off here so you have the clock temperature outside and uh, date uh, and then if you turn it on I guess you have here a you can turn off the screen um, so you have the radio so let me just show you some music here can't play for too long but the basic speakers are kind of okay just they're just basic uh, you can connect your media uh, no device is connected currently you can connect your phone via Bluetooth I didn't do that and you can see the navigation you always have to agree to this and then there's a day and night mode there's a shortcut for the radio menu for the warnings map settings to uh, the points of interests um, voice settings route destination and so on uh, and if you go here uh, radio settings there's like lists presets main options uh, vehicle settings so you have all of those you can just press to read and it gives you a little score trip report echo coaching and so on also, I was filming the B-roll, so I was running the car stationary, so I kind of increased the fuel consumption. And here you have the settings. So you have the volume, uh, loudness, uh, sound, so, yeah. And you have here display options, so automatic day and night, so night is kind of darker, just actually just increase, uh, lowers the brightness. Um, and you can have this on mid or high here devices and system clock language navigation uh, I think there are updates for the maps so very basic but also very decent and good looking uh, there's a like protection film that hasn't been removed here so there's a little bit more glare than it should be and uh, let me turn on my uh, Apple CarPlay to show you how that works so I'm not using the embedded mic of the iPhone, Apple CarPlay here, and you can see that if I back up uh, better. So it actually works good, it's not lagging, since my phone is filming some infotainment start lagging. Actually it did start lagging now a little bit, but it's working fast uh, when you know my phone is not filming. So it's pretty good, you have all the apps, and you know, the screen resolution could be better in the future maybe, but for the uh, budget car it's actually quite decent so that was the whole infotainment you know it is um, you know it's you know not too much technology the video is shorter let's pop the bonnet and show the diesel engine lock information so uh, it's just on the edge of the C there and you press to the left you can see that and you have the uh, dampener so let me just back up so you can see the whole car that's nice and there's your four-cylinder diesel turbocharged engine so it's a 1.5 liter as i've mentioned and 115 horsepower uh, but once again i would personally go for the stronger uh, 150 horsepower i forgot it was a petrol or a diesel the strongest version but you know uh, this car could use a little bit more power and definitely go for the automatic washer fluid is here in this yellow and that's pretty much it so the rest leave it to the mechanics and do not wash your uh, engine bay and recommended oil is there so yeah
let's close it up closes perfectly and that was the full review of the new dacha duster journey package so everyone thank you for watching be a cool person like the video leave your comments below in the comment section how you like the new duster journey and uh, if you like this review, be a cool person. Also, subscribe to this channel. I review a lot of cars and click the little bell to get notified when I upload more videos. And hopefully, I'm going to see you in the next. Stay safe. Until the next one, bye.